Well, good morning, everybody. It's the 24th of January, 2023. Uh, my birthday, by the way. But anyway, the, the reason for uh, this video is simple enough. Uh, is talk about the uh, Brisbane Metro. Now, I was going to call it the good and the bad and the ugly, but I couldn't find much good about it. It will be just simply a double-ended, double-articulated bus. It's going to be electric, and it's going to have pantographs at the, so that when it reaches the other end of the trip, it'll charge up in six minutes and be on its way again. I would suggest that it's one of the worst public transport uh, projects or planning, or lack of planning, that we've ever seen in uh, Brisbane. What could have been at a reasonable cost also, I would imagine, is what's known as trackless trams and, and you look overseas and there's plenty of examples of them. And they, many of them are, or they're three vehicles, but many of them can be five vehicles in length, so therefore a train, as it were, of five vehicles can turn up be powered from 750 volts overhead and have one guiding rail flush with the, with the surface of the uh, uh, street. Now, it would be minimum 90% uh, segregated from, tra uh, from all other transport. It would act like light rail. Uh, best example of which I could come up with is the Gold Coast uh, light rail line. Uh, it is almost no mixed traffic. It just meets opposing traffic only at crossroads and everything else is segregated. Now, a trackless tram of five vehicles could have been done here in Queensland. It would have been guided by electronic tags in the street. It wouldn't be the cumbersome and, and, and costly and, and very limited Oban uh, style system like you get in Adelaide which hasn't been repeated anywhere much in the world there's only a couple of examples of it but trackless trams are used in various places um, and it could have been done as I say here now I'll expand further on that as to, uh, as to really what is, is the bad and what is virtually the ugly too many Brisbane City Council bus routes are being cancelled and or shortened and passengers are forced onto the metro to stand up, almost no doubt at all, in peak hours. Change buses get onto a standard bus and head off to their destination. I intend to list a few of the bus routes that are going to be changed and some of which will be cancelled, but for the bus enthusiasts around the place, the main two that will definitely disappear is Route 111, which goes uh, from from the city out to Eight Mile Plains along the busway, and also Route 66, which uh, goes to the University of Queensland Lakes, as they call it, UQ Lakes. Number of bus services will be cancelled, and others, as I said, you'll get off the bus somewhere, this metro thing, uh, somewhere and walk across the platform I hope and then just board or a few feet away your bus now Changing vehicles is not a exactly a, a favorite of people and they'll be heading off to, to wherever they're going now Can they have the capacity to do that? Well, I, I say you shouldn't ask yourself questions, but my answer is no it's only going to be a double articulated, double ended vehicle. How can that replace several bus routes with only one additional section of the of the bus? Instead of being articulated, it's double articulated. Now, look up bus, double articulated bus services in the world and you'll find plenty. Most are diesel operated, but some are trolley buses. And in this case, it's going to be battery operated. Let's hope and pray that the batteries don't fail in uh, mid-section. That the vehicle will actually make it to the opposite end of the run and then charge. Now, what we've got to look at later, and it's even worse the situation, as I was saying. 
is that talking about plans to extend it to places uh, like uh, Forest Lake uh, or Browns Plains uh, or Chermside, for example. Now, that's all well and good. But if they had five car vehicles running on 750 volt overhead wire, as I said, guided by a single rail flush with the street, that'd be a tremendous improvement. Instead of that, we're just going to have a double articulated vehicle. About a billion dollars is being spent to do this. New depot, new vehicles, uh, the whole thing is going to be trumpeted as a great new advance. It's not an advance. It, it's just a, a, a minor alteration. A, a, it'd be a novelty uh, which will wear off very, very quickly. Now, I, I want to talk about novelties, like Sydney had a novelty called the monorail. Big deal, eh? Um, it lasted for quite a number of years and it's gone now. So what's going to happen with this uh, metro? I think within a, a year or two at the maximum, they'll say, we've made a mistake. What are we going to do to overcome the mistake? Well, let's spend a few hundred million dollars more and make it a guided busway and make it five vehicles and then we'll have a successful operation. So I just thought I'd have my say on this and uh, I'd welcome any civil and polite uh, comments and, and discussion on, this, on the topic of the so-called Brisbane Metro. Thank you for viewing.